You are no stranger to the Emmy stage, but this year we got a chance to see you do something a little different, yeah. which is to help announce the nominees. So you got to bring joy to other right people. There. I was right there on the stage, and what made me feel so good was to be able to say my peers' names out loud and to know that they're going to be up there on the stage and God's willing they feel half of what I felt the first time I went and won. Do you still remember how you felt? Yeah. I don't think I'll ever forget that. It was just such an amazing moment. It was so unexpected. My family was with me and I remember standing on the stage and I could hear my kids screaming from the rafters. And I was like, oh my God, thank you God for this moment. Mm. This moment in time that I'll never ever forget. Look, we as viewers will never forget that moment either because thanks to the internet, we have watched that clip. It, there was just something so strong and genuine and authentic about it. Had you prepared at all your speech or was that just straight up from the heart? That was straight and absolutely from my heart because I went I was not expecting to win. I was just happy to be a nominee. I was just happy to be a part of that class of 2022. I was just so thrilled with that. And when they called my name, I absolutely went into a frozen shock. I remember that I remember sitting there not being able to move. I mean, I couldn't get the message from my head to my feet to get up. And it wasn't until Quinta said, get up. It's you! I was like, oh my God, it was, uh, it was, it was otherworldly for me. Oh my yeah. Gosh. And you know what? You have taken that win, and because of that, we have gotten a chance now to experience you in such a massively wonderful way. We know that you just had a film that dropped uh, a couple months ago now too. And how was just like the aftermath of that incredible victory? Everything has been wonderful, and I have to tell you. I'm in a wonderful place where I get to use my different talents. You know, I, I just, I'm part of the soundtrack for Arcane, a video, new video game, which people are just so excited about. I was just, I was looking on the internet and it said, trending in America, Cheryl Lee Ralph. And I said, what the heck? <laughs> you know, I just finished doing an independent film before we went back to shooting Abbott. And it was the opportunity to take it all off, mm. to just strip down, to really lean on my acting mm. ability and I have not been typecast I have not been stuck in a hole you it's very easy to win for a role like mine and then play everybody's mother but I'm playing everybody's other and it has just been okay thank you God thank you to everybody out there giving me a chance to act well then I gotta ask you this final question yes. you talk about thanking God What's next on your prayer list? What are you asking for these days? Okay, what's really on the top of my prayer list yeah. is a grandchild since my son just got married. Thank you, and it was a wonderful thing. So that would be my human top of the list. Okay. But I would, I'm living for the projects that lift people up. Mm. I'm living for the pro product projects that help people see how much they matter mm. in their normalcy, in their uniqueness, in their just being. I'm yearning for the project where I can be more of what's inside of me as an actor. Amen. Yeah. Well, you know what? From your lips to God's ears, Amen. let's hook it up.